So, out of oil, out of CL, doing uh, fairly good so far today. We've got another trade coming up. I'm going to take a little break, go get some coffee, and I'll be back uh, in uh, 15 minutes. And we'll look to take one last trade for today. Put what on YouTube? Oh, the... Uh, the the trades oh yeah okay you're on YouTube now what do you want to say to everybody <laughs> what do you want to tell everybody it's a total scam right nah come on it's just a scam <laughs> What's funny is they, they wouldn't call a scammer a scammer. <laughs> They'd just be like, oh, like, they just laugh and not even say anything. Okay, so we still got one more. This should be a good trade. Um, I'll be back in uh, 15 minutes, everyone. So my exit then on the YM is set down to uh, 25,884. 25,884 on the exit for the YM for 60 ticks. You guys all get in? Yeah, everything works for the ES2, right? It's like exactly the same, basically. Good, good, good. So you guys all doing well. All doing well today. It's a good Friday. And the best news is is that the market should continue to uh, trade like this. This is like more normal. So kind of like opened up a bit on the market. This is just what we're waiting for, to, for it to open up. And so should be pretty good from here on out. Yeah, they they really have a thing. They want it, everyone to believe, think it's a scam and stuff. So, which is weird because you know I kind of really thought they would think it just the opposite. <laughs> I was first I was you know wondering why why would they not want to make money yet? <laughs> you know, everybody wants to make money, right? And you, but I don't know. Okay, so from this point, f you know, it's obviously it's a break-even trade. If it were to come back up, I would uh, just get out break-even, call it a day. But I'm going to give it a chance here to go down 60 ticks. See, I, I have these certain rules that I play the market with because I've learned, you know, when I first started trading. You know, you can get burned. If you th it, everything can look so perfect, and all of a sudden, boom, it reverses. And it goes back up, and you think, oh, well, it, you know, maybe it'll go back down, but it just keeps on going. But if you play a certain way, it saves you from these bad trades.
Yeah. Yeah, the codes are very, very good. I love the challenge, though, of stocks, you know, but uh, codes are, for somebody, you know, for most people, are fun to learn and do, make money from. As you can see, I've got the codes down pretty good. So anyway, uh, looking for some more ticks here. Hopefully it won't take too long because we are running out of time. It's Friday. It's not going to last for... Actually, I don't know about the Dow. The, the oil pretty much dies usually, but maybe not today. Yep, it's always about that. You know, it's always anybody can anybody can buy or short and hit a trade. It's not that hard to do, but it's all about managing your risk, really. If you can't do that, you won't be successful. And that includes the codes. The codes ex ex themselves, uh, to a certain, you know, always manage your risk with them. That's how you manage it. I hope this thing doesn't come all the way back up to break even. Because I'm going to do as I said, and I'm going to get out and call it a day. But I'm giving it a chance, mathematically, to go down and hit the 60 ticks. Mathematically, because I'm not, I'm letting it go. I'm not getting out. Therefore, if it's going to go down 60 ticks, then there's nothing to stop it. If, however, it comes up to break even and I'm in at uh, 25,944, I'm going to get out. Just call it a day. It's a volatile little instrument. I like it, though. M moves good. Good for making some ticks on. I just don't like to take any chances with it until I get a bit better at it. Learn it a bit more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, definitely Mondays. Okay, I'm about to get out here. At 42, I'll get out. Coming down again. Still in. See, sometimes it can come down to a tick like that. Okay, at 42, I'm going to jump out. Okay, back down again. back up again. I make up your mind. Okay, I'm out. Okay, I'm all done for today. Got some good ticks out of the market today. It was good. And uh, next week, it's setting up to be a good week because uh, market's moving good. So that's a good news for all of us. And And look at the uh, oil. Oil had a good day today, too. 
yeah, have a good weekend, everybody. I will see you on Monday and uh, enjoy yourselves over the weekend. Happy trading, everyone. See you on Monday. Take care. All right, wrapping up the day today. Uh, okay, so here's what I did on oil, CL. And here's what I did on the YM. And so I had a pretty good day today. Could have did better on the uh, YM, but um, I, I, sh I should have stayed in the trade. It's probably going to continue to go down, but anyway. It's getting late for me. It's already 12 o'clock midnight Friday, and uh, I'm going to call it a day here, so call it a week. Anyway, the market's moving good. That's a really good thing for all of us traders, and the codes are working very well, and uh, I think we're doing really good inside the trading room. So uh, if any of you code traders are struggling in your code trading, certainly coming into the trading room is going to help you. Anyway, so I will be back on Monday for some more trading, and I hope all of you co-traders out there are doing good in your trading and are enjoying using the codes. And I'll be back for more trading on Monday, everyone. Take care. Have a great weekend.